Hello, Aries and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your weekend guidance message for November 29th through December 1st. If you guys enjoy the message, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you enter into any of the drawings that I provide, be sure and subscribe to the channel because I have a person from last month that hasn't claimed their free reading yet because that's probably because they weren't notified or they weren't subscribed. So go check out that video to see if you were a winner in the drawing. Um, it's also on the community tab if you missed it. So, Aries. Also, if you would like to get entered into the drawing, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. Be sure and subscribe so you can be notified when I upload the video announcing the winners. Let's see here. Aries, Aries, Aries. To the sea, time for a nap, new life. So Aries, I feel like there's a need to rest, rejuvenate, go with the flow this weekend. I feel like where you're headed is this new life, new opportunities. Um, but I feel like because of the energy and the way that this reading is presenting itself, um, I feel like there's still some healing that you're doing, possibly from a tumultuous relationship, something that was very manipulative. Um, so let's see here, Aries, what we can pick up with the tarot cards. Also, guys, please keep in mind these messages are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. If the message does resonate, be sure to stay till the end because I do pull a power thought card at the end of these messages here on YouTube before I continue into the extended. So, <clears throat> most important message for Aries spirit. What does Aries need to see for November 29th through December 1st? Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Focus. I feel like you still feel tied, feel, still feel some ties to this past situation. Remember the healing thing? Progress is being made slowly but surely. I feel like you struggle with focusing at times. That's the sense that I'm getting here. I feel like you try hard and then you get distracted. You try hard and then you get distracted. Try hard and get distracted. Pace yourself. Pace yourself is what I'm hearing. Ooh, that was a lot of cards. Wow. And like took a deep breath and said pace yourself and then a whole bunch of cards fell out so I feel like the lesson here is the lovers in reverse um, so Aries The lesson here is focusing on self. What I see from the cards is um, there was a past situation that, like I said, was very tumultuous. You or another person was withholding. I feel like it was the other person more than you. I feel like this sense of withholding um, also spreading themselves too thin with the six of pentacles it symbolizes an unf un 
fair exchange of energy. So what I feel was going on here in the past here, Aries, was maybe there was a lot of giving and not a lot of receiving. Um, even if they would have just given you a little bit, I feel like this relationship would have would have probably worked out. But since they were always more worried about self, it was just not there. Focusing on self-healing, self-love. I don't know if you watched my intro video, but this channel is all about self-love, self-healing, self discovery journey is really going to help you to bring clarity to the situation. I feel like there was a separation, but you're still feeling tied to this person. So let's get some clarity here on the lovers in reverse. Spirit, the lovers in reverse, what is the separation for Aries? So this person was very deceitful. I feel like that's why this ended. That's why the separation happened. This person was manipulative, deceitful, pulling a lot of rabbits out of a hat is what I'm hearing. The justice card keeps wanting to come out. I'll put this one over here. I feel like there's going to be balance. There's going to be justice brought to the situation. Maybe there's a legal matter that's going on that this is going to work out in your favor. Um, it could just simply be things in this situation working out in your favor. Maybe their tricks, their lies are exposed. Um, might come back with an apology so let's see here let's get some clarity on this hanged man can i get some clarity on the hanged man in the tower spirit i feel like there's still a lot of confusion that's why you're waiting there could also be somebody that's spying the page of swords in reverse. Definitely somebody that's spying on the situation. But the reason why you're waiting is because there's a lot of confusion still here of an indecisive type of energy. With the Page of Swords present, it definitely tells me that there's somebody watching you maybe over social media, watching your, um, stalking you. Maybe if they are in the same area, they could even like try to come to the store and run into you if they know your routine, something along those lines. But I really get the sense here, Aries, um, you're just focused on moving forward. With the two of wands here, you're really focused on the future, focused on moving forward, focused on um, making a plan. Get clear on these internal feelings, okay? That's, that's how you're gonna clear up any confusion of whether to stay or go. I do feel like you are in this completion of a cycle, so you may be becoming aware of other attributes or traits that this person is demonstrating. 
Now, they may try to come back with an apology. Um, that's something that we will take a look at in the extended reading. But I really get the sense here that there is a need with Two of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Just focus on yourself. Focus on the self-healing, self-discovery journey. Um, moving away from any negative people, places, and things that are no longer serving. Because if you're really trying to be in a more positive mindset, any person that you are around has an effect on your energy. So try and understand that. Um, if you're feeling really low energy, feeling really down, it could very well be somebody around you. Okay. So in the extended reading, I want to take a look at this spy for one. I want to see who that is, what's going on there. I also want to take a look at your person that you're moving away from and possibly the direction this is going in the outcome that we're looking at here. So let me pull a power thought card. Straighten this camera out. So let's see here. Most important message for Aries spirit. Okay, so I trust the process of life. I love this card. There is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings me to only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. Trust the process of life. So, Aries, that is the message that I have for you guys. If you guys want to join me over in the extended reading, that link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.